Join us as we discuss a former Sony dev roasting gamers still debating the Xbox Series X power over the PlayStation 5. Does the PlayStation 5 SSD technology truly trump the power of the X Series X or not? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this episode of The Medicine. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so for those of you that have been living under a rock, over the past few weeks, we've had a gargantuan amount of news come out as far as specs are concerned regarding the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Both are, of course, Xboxes and PlayStation's uh, respective next-gen consoles. So, Xbox Series X stealth released some information via Digital Foundry uh, a couple of Mondays ago prior to this release. Um, PlayStation then <laughs> curiously followed up with a GDC style three person in the crowd silhouette, Mark Cerny whispering into the mic version of them releasing specs like a day or two after. And that presentation didn't, didn't fail so well or fall, late so well with the general population. People were upset about it and they've been going about saying that the PlayStation 5 specs look garbage and that the Xbox Series X crushes it, has it, eats it for breakfast, right? In lieu of that, you've had my PlayStation brethren arguing that this whole SSD that's gonna be part of the PlayStation 5, because it is faster and it's twice as fast as the SSD that's gonna be in the Series X, then that trumps the whole power narrative that makes that the more powerful console because it's gonna do all these wonderful things that Mark Cerny said it's gonna do. All right. So in light of that argument, we have what appears to be a, an ex Sony dev game designer, rather, he says that he's heard developers say that the Xbox Series X advantage of the play, over the PlayStation 5 is quite staggering. So let's actually take a look at this article. And this article is coming to us courtesy of Gamerant. Um, and it reads off as such. It says, with PlayStation 5 revealed uh, this past week, several developers have spoken publicly about their excitement for the new PlayStation 5 SSD technology. These developers have largely been current or ex-first party devs from Naughty Dog, Insomniac, or other studios, but their experience is still noteworthy. Another ex-Sony de developer is now offering some opposing insight. Chris Grinnell, former senior game designer at Guerrilla Games and SCEE, is sharing what he's heard regarding the power difference between the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Quote, it's quite staggering. Um, so... Here's a tweet, and this came from my homie Tim Dog. <laughs> Big ups to Tim Dog. Uh, for those of you that don't know Tim Dog, he's a former BGST uh, member uh, with on uh, Next Gen 720's channel. You know what I'm saying? Big ups to the broadband bullies, my brethren. Um, and he is a staunch Xbox fan. I won't. I'll just leave it at that. He's a staunch Xbox fan. He's a great guy too, you know what I'm saying? If you get to meet him. That being said, he put out here uh, something in, in, in a forum. I think it's Neil Gav, I don't know. I, can, I, don't, I don't frequent these forums. They're pointless to me. But he put something out here in his forum in regards to somebody from Digital Foundry saying, look guys, stop with all this rhetoric about the PlayStation 5 SSD is gonna trump the power of the Xbox Series X. It's not happening, okay? Um, and then Chris Grinnell follows up with this. He says, I've chatted to a few devs. They have confirmed the power difference is quite staggering. However, they said it doesn't mean you can't make good games on the PlayStation 5. These fanboys, though, clearly don't care about that and are massively rattled. So in light of all that, now that we got all that stuff out of the way, 
Um, let's 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 ask the question because this now poses a big question. A couple of big questions, really. Question number one: Does the PlayStation 5 SSD tech trump the likely output of raw graphical power and fidelity that the Xbox Series X is going to be capable of? Capable of? And the answer, quite simply, is no. It's not. Look. Well, well, at least not initially. Okay. There's just look. We gotta face this. We got look. You gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to vote them. Okay. There's just too much raw power under the hood that devs will appreciate more at the console's launch. Third-party devs, that is. They're going to be used to this. They're going to just want to, you know, show some power. And unless they're getting a duffel bag full of cash from Microsoft to make something exclusive, they want to be able to easily code program and, and blast these things out with fidelity across the board. And it looks like that with the tool sets that are going to be in the Xbox Series X, they've made it easier. Doesn't mean that it's still not going to be possible, doable, or still not going to look great at the third party level on the PlayStation 5. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's going to look better in all likelihood, and it's going to be easier for them to do so. Okay. Now, now that we got that out of the way, because there's, there's, there's different layers to this. The quest, question two, and the most important question to your boy is, does the power narrative control all in this equation? And my answer to that also is no. Look, like I've alluded to earlier, both will emit great fidelity. One will just have better plat multi-plats at least at the beginning of this generation. You know what I'm saying? That is unless, you know what I'm saying? Well, no, it's gonna have the better multiplats, but as far as games all together, well, that depends. That depends if, A, if Sony comes out traditionally with great games, you know what I mean? Like the, the tradition is, is that PlayStation likes to drop these, these bangers, right, as of late. So if they continue with that trend, if they got some tricks up their sleeves, if they got some games that are coming that look great, that play great to the general public, boom. Goes, that's one stick of dynamite. The next and more important stick is if Sony curates PlayStation 5 exclusive content, if they have a decent amount of it and the Series X don't at launch or within the launch window, I say within the first six months, if that happens, then nobody's going to care solely about the Bibble Watts and Gigahertz. They're going to look at the PlayStation 5 games. They're going to say, oh, this is only going to be capable on next gen hardware. Um, and my Call of Duty still gonna look great on the PlayStation. I'd rather get the PlayStation. Okay, so in closing, like my man Chris Grinnell says, I do agree with him on this token. Y'all gotta, again, y'all gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Y'all need to fold this whole bibberwalk talk. It's, it, it's not, it's not a winning equation. Sony Brethren. The raw graphical power of the Xbox Series X seems 99.9% .9 in their favor. But at the end of the day, just like we've seen with the Xbox One X, who really cares if you got the games? So what you need to do is instead of fighting this lost battle, it's a lost battle. Instead of fighting that battle, urge Sony to show these games and if they can show them or if they're building their library, make sure that Oni keeps their eye on the prize and urge Sony to work hand in hand, at least with second party development to ensure that these SSD perks, if they truly exist, are fully utilized. Because Mark Sony can sit there and whisper on the mic all day, but if this doesn't come to fruition, it doesn't matter. But power does not trump all as you've already shown. So know where to focus your energy and make sure you focus it on your greatest perk. Games, games, games. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, um, Art Knock Digital Culture. Remember your material. Come on. And the stadium does it. And with that said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.